there has been one incident where I definitely forgot to tell my husband that I made us these Yuba noodles with the infused sesame oil and he came out of his office and he was like, I'm stoned out of my mind. Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Dorsey. I'm a professional chef, writer, and the founder of a nonprofit community think tank called Studio Atau. And today I am physically in the Munchies test kitchen making some cannabis infused yuba noodles. Let's get started. First, we're going to make our cannabis infused toasted sesame oil. So we've got some cannabis here from Stone Road and we are going to decarboxylate or decarb it, which is essentially activating all the CBD as well as the THC in the cannabis so you can get all those good effects. You cannot just eat cannabis raw, you don't get the same high at all. First, we are going to just put this on an eighth sheet tray, I guess. And there's a couple way to decarb your cannabis. You can do it in the oven, which we're gonna do here, because it's a little bit faster. And you can also do it in the sous vide, which is nice because there's no smell. It does take longer. Or you can also get like a special machine to do it, but then you have to buy the machine. You'll notice here that I actually have ground cannabis today. You don't have to grind it before you decarb it. So now that we've got our tray of cannabis, I'm just going to pop it into the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so now that we have decarbed our cannabis for about 15, 20 minutes, since this was already ground, we are going to combine it with the toasted sesame oil. I pulled out a scale and we are going to do a little combining action. This ratio is based off of Monica Lowe's recipe for infused olive oil. I'm gonna weigh out four grams. So we're just gonna pop all of this in our mason jar. And I've got one cup of toasted sesame oil here. We have the sous vide at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're just gonna pop it in there and sous vide it for about four hours. Our sesame oil has been infusing with our decarbed cannabis for about four hours at 185 degrees, and now we are ready for a strain. So this is warm, so be careful. And you'll want to use a fine strainer, especially this time since we had the kind of ground cannabis. All right, now we're gonna strain this out and make our noodles. If you're not familiar with Yuba, they are essentially tofu sheets. So when you're making soy milk, there is a natural sheet of like coagulated soy protein that will form during the process of the soy milk kind of cooling down. And you'll, when like manufacturers of Yuba noodles or Yuba sheets, they will just scoop that up and let it dry and then they'll just keep going. And so you end up with this kind of big sheet that can either be hydrated, like we're seeing here, or it can be dried. This is something that's super versatile, it's very healthy. You see it in a lot of Chinese as well as Japanese cooking. And it's also something that you find a lot for like vegetarian mock meat. We're using the fresh ones today, so we can go through this recipe pretty fast. But if you want more of these at home and you want to like not have to worry about it expiring in your refrigerator, just buy the dry sheets. They're very, very affordable. You can keep them and then just rehydrate them in hot water and do the same thing as we're doing here. I unwrapped and then I re-rolled and then I'm just gonna do a little slice. You can do these in thin kind of like fettuccine with noodles or you can do nice fat like pappardelle kind of vibes or really thin angel hair, whatever you're vibing with that day. For these fresh sheets, I've been using a brand called Hodo, but again, you can get the dried ones or the fresh ones. Look at that, so easy. Cool, donezo. And now we are at the easiest part of this entire recipe, which is honestly just assembly. I really love grating garlic. It is by far the best method of, happening, of dealing with your garlic. Oh, we got pretty garlic today. So anyway, I was really nervous about using cannabis, and I just remember my ex-boyfriend in college threw a cannabis party and I definitely got second hand high and I was so giggly, like he was like, I've never seen you in such a good mood. I feel like I have two like cannabis personalities. One is like really thinky, I'm like, 
What is the meaning of life? What are we here for? What is this existential crisis that I'm always having? Or I'm like, oh my God, look at these fail videos. They're so funny. I love like looking at Pinterest fails. Like there's like, it's very like one or the other. Grated garlic, boom, done. I think this is enough garlic. And then I'm gonna add some chives in here as well. All right, we've got chives, we have garlic. You can also put some ginger in here if you wanted to. I am also going to use some preserved turnips or salted turnip. This is pretty easy to find in most Chinese grocery stores. Uh, they're essentially salted little turnips. They look a little unappealing, I recognize, but they just add a nice little crunch and a little like burst of like salinity and saltiness. So I think they're they're awesome. So now that we have all of this, I'm going to put my noodles in here and we're gonna do a little toss toss and then we'll be done for ready for tasting. All right, that was creamy peanut butter. You can warm it up a little bit so that it distributes more easily. I just added some maple syrup. You can also do honey. I always like to use a little bit of sweetener with all of my savory dishes. Putting some Maggi in here. Maggi is very different. It's not substitutable with soy sauce, but if you don't like the taste of Maggi, you can use soy sauce. This is some black vinegar, so aged vinegar. Um, it is quite pungent and you want to be careful using this. Too much black vinegar kind of like overwhelms the palate, but it is really one of those things you can't really substitute. And finally, dun, 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 our infused oil. So again, please be careful while using this, depending on what you're gonna be doing for the rest of the day, if you don't wanna to get totally stoned, or maybe you do, so use a lot of it. You might get some clumping with the peanut butter, so it's always good to like kind of warm up your peanut butter. I also have regular soy sauce here, so I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. This is the light soy sauce, the, so the saltier of the soy sauces. All right, I think let's plate this up and then we can do a taste test. And a plate on this very cute plate that we found kind of looks like a little lotus. All right, we got chili pepper oil that we have opened and we'll just do a little drizzle on top. And let's go for our little taste test. I love the texture of the yuba noodles since they have like some elasticity and some spring, kind of like a regular noodle. The sesame oil comes through and the nice thing about infusing toasted sesame oil is that sesame oil is such a strong flavor that you're not, you're not really tasting the cannabis. I feel like when you're infusing like a coconut oil or like a more neutral like butter, you are getting like, you're like, wow, there is some weed in here. But toasted sesame oil, you're just tasting sesame oil. There you have it. If you want the recipe, the link is below and you can find me online on Instagram usually at, at Chef Jenny Dorsey. DM me with your questions, tag me in your photos. Would love to see what you make. I can't do anything when I'm high. Well, especially if I'm in thinky phase. Why am I chopping chives? What is the point of chopping chives? What is chives really adding to this dish? Are chive farmers being properly compensated for their labor? Like that's my line. It's, I know, I'm sorry, I'm not fun at all.